the dragon's shadow lengthens, a looming threat in the east. For centuries, Russia has looked west, wary of Europe's machinations and ambitions. Yet, a greater threat might be emerging from the east. China, with its burgeoning economy and growing military might, casts a long shadow over its northern neighbor. This looming presence is not merely about geographical proximity, it's about a fundamental shift in the balance of power, one that could reshape the geopolitical landscape for decades to come. The relationship between Russia and China is complex, a tapestry woven from historical grievances, economic interdependence, and strategic calculations. Understanding this intricate dynamic is crucial for the West, as it grapples with a world increasingly defined by great power competition. As China's global influence expands, its relationship with Russia will have profound implications for global stability and security. The Kremlin, once accustomed to dictating terms to its eastern neighbor, now finds itself increasingly reliant on a stronger, more assertive China. This power shift is not lost on Moscow, and it has the potential to ignite long-simmering tensions, transforming the dragon's shadow into a clear and present danger for Russia. The seeds of this potential conflict lie deep in history, sown over centuries of territorial disputes, ideological clashes and mutual suspicion. From the Amur River to the steppes of Central Asia, the two nations have clashed repeatedly, their rivalry etched into the very land they share. The collapse of the Soviet Union provided a brief respite, a period of pragmatic cooperation as both countries sought to rebuild and reassert themselves on the world stage. However, the fundamental asymmetry in their relationship, exacerbated by China's meteoric rise, has made this partnership increasingly untenable. As we move further into the 21st century, the question is not whether China poses a threat to Russia, but rather how acute that threat will become. Will the two nations manage their differences and maintain a semblance of cooperation? Or will their rivalry boil over, plunging Eurasia into a new era of instability and conflict? The answers to these questions will have profound implications for us all. China's rise from sleeping giant to economic powerhouse. China's transformation from an impoverished, isolated nation to a global superpower is arguably the most consequential geopolitical development of the past half century. Through a potent mix of economic liberalization, state-led industrial policy, and relentless global ambition, China has emerged as a force to be reckoned with. Its economy, once stagnant and inward-looking, now boasts the world's second-largest GDP, trailing only the United States. This economic might has translated into growing political clout, allowing China to project its influence far beyond its borders. From the bustling ports of Africa to the resource-rich plains of Latin America, China's presence is increasingly felt. Its Belt and Road Initiative, a vast infrastructure project spanning continents, is a testament to its global ambitions. This initiative, while touted as a vehicle for economic development, also serves a strategic purpose, allowing China to secure access to vital resources and establish a network of dependent partners. As China's economic and political power has grown, so too has its military might. The People's Liberation Army, once a peasant army ill-equipped to project power beyond its borders, has undergone a dramatic modernization. China's military spending has skyrocketed in recent decades, second only to the United States. This investment has yielded significant dividends, equipping the PLA with advanced weaponry and capabilities, ranging from hypersonic missiles to aircraft carriers. This military buildup is not merely about defense. It's about projecting power and asserting China's dominance in its neighborhood and beyond. For Russia, this transformation presents a fundamental challenge. As China grows stronger, Russia's relative power diminishes. This shift in the balance of power has profound implications for the relationship between the two countries creating a dynamic fraught with tension and uncertainty. The Kremlin, long accustomed to viewing China as a junior partner, must now contend with a more assertive and ambitious neighbor. This dynamic is further complicated by the fact that China's rise has come at a time when Russia itself is struggling to maintain its own power and influence. The economic sanctions imposed on Russia following its invasion of Ukraine have only served to exacerbate this trend, pushing Moscow further into Beijing's embrace. This dependence creates a dangerous asymmetry, one that China is all too aware of and willing to exploit. As a result, Russia finds itself increasingly beholden to its eastern neighbor, a situation that could have far-reaching consequences for its own strategic autonomy and long-term security. A troubled past, centuries of mistrust and conflict, 
The current relationship between Russia and China cannot be understood without acknowledging the long and often troubled history that binds them. This history is a complex tapestry woven with threads of conflict, cooperation and competition, each period leaving its own unique mark on the fabric of their interactions. Centuries of territorial disputes, ideological clashes and mutual suspicion have left an indelible mark on their interactions. These disputes were not merely about land, but also about influence, power and the desire to assert dominance in a region that both saw as crucial to their national interests. From the Amur River to the steppes of Central Asia, the two nations have repeatedly found themselves at odds, their rivalry etched into the very land they share. The Amur River in particular has been a flashpoint, symbolizing the broader struggle for control and influence in the region. This shared history, far from being a relic of the past, continues to cast a long shadow over the present, shaping perceptions and influencing policy choices. The memories of past conflicts and betrayals linger, affecting how each nation views the other and how they navigate their current relationship. The roots of this rivalry can be traced back to the 17th century, when the expanding Russian Empire first encountered the Qing Dynasty in the Far East. This initial contact set the stage for centuries of competition and conflict, as both empires sought to expand their territories and influence. What followed was a prolonged period of conflict and competition for territory and influence. The two empires clashed repeatedly, each seeking to assert its dominance and secure its borders against the other. Treaties were signed and broken, borders redrawn, and populations displaced as both sides sought to assert their dominance. These treaties, often imposed under duress, left a legacy of resentment and mistrust that continues to affect relations to this day. The 19th century saw Russia wrest control of vast territories from a weakened Qing dynasty, including Outer Manchuria and the strategically important port of Vladivostok. These territorial gains were significant, not only for their strategic value, but also for the way they altered the balance of power in the region. These territorial losses continue to resonate in Chinese historical memory, fueling resentment and suspicions of Russian intentions. The memory of these losses is a powerful force in Chinese nationalism, shaping how China views its northern neighbor. The 20th century brought new ideological dimensions to the rivalry. The rise of new political ideologies added another layer of complexity to the already fraught relationship between the two nations. The Bolshevik Revolution in Russia and the subsequent rise of the Soviet Union created a new ideological fault line between the two countries. The Soviet Union's commitment to spreading communism put it at odds with China's own revolutionary path. While the Soviet Union embraced communism and sought to export its revolution, China charted its own course, first under the Kuomintang and later under the Chinese Communist Party. This divergence in revolutionary paths created tensions and rivalries that would flare up repeatedly throughout the 20th century. Despite brief periods of cooperation, such as their alliance against Japan during World War II, the ideological divide and lingering territorial disputes kept the two communist giants wary of each other. Their alliance was one of convenience, born out of a common enemy, rather than genuine trust or shared goals. This mistrust culminated in the Sino-Soviet split in the 1960s, a period of bitter ideological rivalry and even armed clashes along their shared border. The split was a dramatic and public falling out, highlighting the deep-seated differences and suspicions that had been simmering beneath the surface. The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 provided an opportunity for a reset in relations. The end of the Cold War and the dissolution of the Soviet state created a new geopolitical landscape, one in which both Russia and China had to find their place. Both Russia, under Boris Yeltsin, and China, led by Jiang Zemin, saw the benefits of pragmatic cooperation in a world no longer dominated by the Cold War rivalry. This pragmatic approach was driven by a recognition of mutual interests and the need to navigate a rapidly changing global order. This new era of cooperation led to increased economic ties, closer political coordination, and even some limited military cooperation. The two countries found common ground in their desire to counterbalance Western influence and to promote a multipolar world order. However, the fundamental power asymmetry between the two countries, exacerbated by China's rapid rise, meant that this partnership was always going to be an uneasy one. China's growing economic and military power has shifted the balance in the relationship, creating new tensions and challenges. As China's economic and military might has grown, so too has its assertiveness on the world stage. This assertiveness is seen in China's actions in the South China Sea, its Belt and Road Initiative, 
and its increasing influence in international organizations. This assertiveness, coupled with the lingering historical grievances and mistrust, has led to renewed tensions between the two countries, particularly in Central Asia, where their strategic interests increasingly overlap. Central Asia has become a new arena for competition, as both Russia and China seek to expand their influence in this resource-rich and strategically important region.